Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and pass it on to someone else who may need to see this as well. Now, the other day, I posted a meme. I did a little social experiment in the community section. I utilize the community section very often. I post social experiments and polls and um, memes and the little funny jokes and all kinds of stuff in here. A lot of times I post about what I'm talking about that day or what I've already discussed. So I noticed the other day I found this um, one particular meme in a group and I decided to give it to you guys just to see what kind of vibration I got back, okay? I wanted to see what was the general vibration of the group of people who chose to respond to it. This was the question. The question says, what advice would you give to a person that is falling in love with you? Be honest. Now, I answered first. I answered with the meme itself. And I said, I would say, Keep it real with me. Any sign of treachery or deception, and I'll drop you like a bad habit. Okay, now what happened from there? Other people started to respond. And as I was reading the responses, I realized something. I realized we all have a similar vibration going on here. The one young lady said, tread lightly. So somebody told her they're in love with her and she told them tread lightly. The next young lady said, just don't. I have nothing left to give. The next person said, stay away. I have mommy and daddy issues. Plus I'm an Aquarius who likes my space. So listen to these responses. The next one says, buckle up, buddy. The next one says, I'll say, don't give me the silent treatment. It's very immature and childish. There's a thing called communication. Silent treatment is a deal breaker for me. Be careful with me. Quote from Cardi B. The next person says, I'll ask why to hear their logic and for space. It gives me time to think deep into their logic and find out if there's a connection or a mutual feeling there. And what I noticed about all of these, I'm going to read one more and you guys can see what I'm talking about. That's cute and all, but I'm pretty sure you don't love me as much as I do. So please keep in mind that while I might choose you, I still don't need you. So what was my common theme in looking? It's, it's like 30 responses. First of all, I got a common theme that most of the people that responded more than likely are not going to find a good relationship or they're already in a bad relationship, including myself. Why did I say that? Because everybody who responded is so guarded. One of the most important things they tell us, and I didn't notice this about my own answer until I read the other ones. And I was like, we guarded as hell. And then I started to think about that. And I'm like, one of the things they tell you in the law of attraction is you can't keep focusing on what you don't want. Everybody who responded, except for a few people, responded with what they don't want. I don't want to be betrayed. I don't want treachery. I don't want deception. I don't want you thinking that I need you. I don't want you coming into my life messing things up. Very few people answered with what they do want or in a positive way. Somebody comes and says, I'm in love with you. Nobody said, oh, I'm in love with you too. Or well, one person did. She said, I want to hear their thought process. I like that answer. That's a positive answer that'll probably get her somewhere one day. But my point is, is that most of us, including myself, responded defensively. 
we despond, we responded through our own pain from the past, or we responded with things that we don't want. So I wanted to point this out to you because that says to me that a lot of us are swimming upstream. And that's not how you find or maintain or have a happy relationship. The way, according to the law of attraction, is to focus on what you do want. So we already know you don't want treachery. We already know you don't want deception. What do you want? So when somebody says, I'm in love with you, you can say, okay. <laughs> Respond with how you feel. Because that's what I was expecting people to say, how they feel about the other person. Or you're in love with me, I'm in love with you too. Or you're in love with me, um, I don't see you that way. I was expecting them to respond to the other person. But most people didn't respond to the other person. Most people responded with why the other person should not love them. And to me, that's extremely problematic, especially in a group of people who often say to me that they would like to get married. <laughs> they would like to be in a committed relationship. But the overall vibration that's being given off is the exact opposite. I was very interested to see that. The one girl said, are you ready? Another young lady said, fall in line. So a lot of people in love with her. <laughs> him or her, I can't tell if it's a him or her. But whoever him or her is, a lot of people are in love with them. And they're just like, get in line, you know? So... I feel like if you want to take a look at this, it's still in the community section. And I feel like take a look at it and see what I'm talking about for those of you who didn't see it. But the bottom line is, is that if you have this vibration and I posted this, let me tell you the date I posted this. I posted this a week ago. So if you have this vibration, if this is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see something like this, that means you are probably not vibrating in a manner to draw towards you a good person. Now, if you know that you're not ready for a good person, that's fine. That makes perfect sense. Why draw somebody into your life you're not ready for? But it will behoove you to heal thyself and get ready if you don't want another relationship or you're, you know, you're cool on that, that's fine. But heal yourself anyway, because if the first thing that comes to your mind when you see something like this is what you don't want, that means that your experiences, what you don't want, what's, what's happened to you before or what you're afraid might happen or might happen again is your driving force. So you're vibrating off the past. You're vibrating off what you've experienced or what you don't want to experience or what you're afraid to experience. You're vibrating from a place of fear, including myself, because I was the first one that came out the gate. <laughs> like I came out the gate like what? You know, aggressive, defensive, guarded. And many of us are in that same um, are in that same vibration. So when I read it back to myself, I was like, oh, you got to change that vibration. That's the first thing I saw was my answer. And I was like, oh, you got to change that vibration. What are you attracting with that? And then I started to read the other ones. And I was like, oh, these are even worse. <laughs> the one girl I wrote underneath it, this is really sad because it is. It's like, oh, my God, you know. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys, especially those of you who responded to it. Because the bottom line is, is that if this is how we're vibrating, we're going to be sitting here together <laughs> for many years to come. So if we want to change this, we got to change this vibration. Okay. So for those of you who responded or for those of you who saw it and thought something, you know, negative or sad or defensive or guarded in my case, remember that you got to change this vibration if you really want to fall in love, okay? All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like a reading, please email me and I'll give you an appointment. And likewise, 
If you would like to get in touch with me, all of my information will be underneath this video. I'll see you later.